Now, I did a little shopping. Actually, I've done a little more shopping than what I'm going to show you today. It just hasn't come in yet. But let's get started. Okay, we'll start with the knit crate because last month, I think this was last month, this color came in, which is like a blush pink, which goes with two separate sweaters that I have. And this is Vidalana Linen Jewel. This color is called Sandstone. This was the neutral color last of the other month. It's 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, and 20% silk. And it is a fingering weight, and there is 400 yards. Now, I already have, I have another skein of this because you get two skeins. But there was another colorway that came out that same month that I thought would go really nicely with that. Do, 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 do. Yes. Do you like my technical sound effects? This is the same yarn. It's the same weight, the same, um, it's a vi the Vitalana Linen Jewel. It's the same makeup. This was, I believe, the Energize Me colorway. But look how good they are going to go together. This is kind of a, a it's, it's a purpley, kind of a berry color. Yeah, so it's pretty true to color. And against this pink, it's going to look gorgeous. Now, I just bought one skein of this, and then I, I have the two skeins of this. I am going to do something with color work or mosaic where these two colors go together. I'm not sure what yet, but these two are going to be going together along with the third skein, which will be this. So that's purchase number one. Then also a couple months ago, Knit Crate had some yarn that I got two skeins of, and that is, and then I, I bought two more skeins of it because I'm going to make a cotton, a cotton tee type of shirt for next spring or summer. So I'm not going to be working on this right away because we're kind of done with that weather. Um, but this is called Stardust. This is the Uru yarn, and it's called Cotton Basic. And it is 100% organic Pima cotton. And it is extremely soft. It's a DK weight, 266 yards. Now, I already have two. I bought two more. So that altogether, I will have over a thousand yards between the four skeins, which should be plenty to make a short sleeved summer top of some type. So, yes. So that is my knit crate purchase. And it's looking kind of blue here. It's, it is, it is a purpley blue that in some lights it looks blue and in other lights it looks definite purple. So. It's not as blue as it's looking in the video, but it's very pretty. So that was my knit crate. Then I did a little shopping on Lion Brand. Actually, I did some more shopping on Lion Brand. I just ordered some Just My Stripe, the sale that was out earlier this week. But this was a, a while back. It just took a long time to get here. This is the Summer Kiss and Here's what it looks like. And this yarn is kind of interesting. It's the tubular construction. There you can see it. It's like a webbing and then they blow um, some type of fluffy stuff down through the middle of it. But then it's got these little, little sections here. It almost reminds me of shoelaces because it's kind of a flat yarn and it's especially flat where these little color sections are. So I have five skeins of this, and this is, again, going to be a summer top for next year. So let me tell you what they are made up of. 262 yards per skein. So I have almost like 1,300 yards. I have more than enough here. Um, let's see. It's 80% cotton. 20% polyester, and it's machine washable, always important for me, machine washable. And it is a worsted weight. It's a medium number four, so a light worsted. And this particular color is called lemon citron. There you can see it. So, yes, 
five skeins of that. So I'm doing lots of summer thinking ahead type of thing. Yeah. So that is my current yarn haul, but I do have some more coming in. And uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow because Dave and I took a little trip for a couple days out to go visit our son and daughter-in-law and the grandkids that are out in Ohio. And um, we stopped at a historical village while we were there. So I took some, some video footage. So make sure you tune in tomorrow on Wednesday to see a little bit about the historic Roscoe Village. Thanks for watching.